Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be making these yummy polenta fries that I got a recipe off of the Vegan Corners YouTube channel. I'm gonna put a link down below to this recipe. They were really good. I'm also gonna be making some uh, vegan mushroom gravy that I was inspired to make from Tammy Terosian's YouTube channel. And I just love her channel, it's one of my favorites. I'll also put a link down below to that. I did change the recipe a little bit, but when I saw her blend those mushrooms up, I thought, I can't believe I never thought of that myself. So, all right, let's get started on the recipe. Okay, so I halved this recipe um, from the vegan corner and something didn't quite have right. I, ha I thought I halved all the liquids. I, I mean, it was called for a two cups of polenta and I only used one so I halved the amount of liquid but it, it you'll see here in a minute anyway um, I put the liquid in there and now I'm adding some uh, thyme and believe it or not this is thyme that I put in the refrigerator from last season and it's and I put it in one of those Kelly Miner Kelly Meyer green bags and I pulled it out and it was still green and just just like it was when I put it away in the fall. So anyway, here I am slowly adding my polenta to my my uh, liquid and uh, giving it a good stir. After I had brought the water up to a boil, then I just covered it and uh, I let it sit. I can't remember how long they said. I think it was like 10 minutes. Oh, this is the polenta I used. It was the Bob's Red Mill Corn Grits, also known as polenta. Yep. Well, anyway, so this is what I take the cover off and I'm like, hmm, it's been 10 minutes. It's going to cook for an hour. And this stuff is like, oops, it's not smooth and creamy. It's like dry and I'm like, oh, this sucks. But anyway, I thought, well, let me add a little water and uh, let me see what this does. And it doesn't do too much. So I thought, well, let's add a little more water. So we added more water and stirred stirred that up some more and it i'm trying to figure out now if, is this doing anything and i'm thinking you know what i think it i think it might be it's doing something so let's uh let's add some more water am i going to add more water no i decided to add more milk because it did call for milk and water so i added extra water so i thought well i better add some extra milk so now it's kind of getting back to a creamy consistency and not so dried out. So I decided I'll let it go another 10 minutes and uh, then we'll see what we get. And again, it's a bit, bit dried out here. Let me see what it's like. Ah, la, 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 la. Oh gosh, no singing, no singing. I had to forget, I can't do singing. Okay, so we added, you know, another, I don't know, like a quarter cup of water again here and uh, stirred that up and I think I decide that that's still not enough and I'm gonna add even more water. Isn't this exciting? I my God, such content I'm giving you guys here. I can't believe it. You get to watch me stir corn grits. <laughs> anyway, okay, so I ended up adding all of that water. Fine, okay, so now it's much better better the consistency is much better so now I think I let it sit for 10 more minutes oh no I'm gonna add some stuff to it so here I'm adding some chives there you go chives yep chives yep we see them okay take it away some chives and um, this is some um, chopped dried onion something whatever it's called chopped onion so chives and chopped onions. So what I've got in there now is pepper, fresh thyme, chives, and chopped onion. And because I'm going to be making fries out of this, I knew I was going to make fries out of it. So I wanted them to have some flavor and the vegan corner said I could add spices if I wanted. So I did. Um, so anyway, there is, it's cooked and now I've got it in my pan. And I'm going to let this sit in the refrigerator. And I actually let it sit overnight. So 
Uh, this is what it looked like the night before I made the fries. Then there was all this stuff stuck to the bottom of the pan. And the vegan corner said, if you put baking soda in your pan with some water, bring it up to a boil, shut it off and let it sit, that this stuff will just pretty much wash itself. And it did. Okay, so here I am making the gravy. Um, so anyway, what I've got in there is I had a half of a kind of a large onion and about, I don't know, 10, maybe 10 to 12 ounces of mushrooms in there, probably more like 12 ounces. And I cooked those down until they were, you know, uh, pretty caramelized. And I added a half of a bouillon cube. And then what I got in my, um, my blender thingy there is I put in a half a cup of pinto beans, a half a cup of pinto beans and a clove of garlic. And then you saw I added like half that mushroom onion mixture to that and blended that up. And then I was add, I had some liquid in there because I added, like I said, a half of a vegan, um, not whatever, it's like not beef bouillon or whatever. And I added probably a good cup of water to that. And then some of that cooked out. But anyway, so um, I got the onion, the pinto beans, the garlic, and the mushrooms and onions. And then I blended that all up. Um, anyway, I guess I'll throw a recipe down below what I exactly did. So anyway, here's, here's the polenta. Now it's sat for, it's sat for a day. So I'm going to cut this into fries while I'm holding a camera, which, uh, yeah, it doesn't always work that way. And I did get better at this. Um, I put the camera down and then I decided I didn't need to cut the whole, I cut the whole thing in half and then cut cut it it was much easier anyway so anyway I kind of got these fry size pieces I didn't know what to do with that end piece I, I kept wanting to cut it in half but then was afraid I was so afraid of my polenta oh my god oh so anyway okay so I'm making like these are like really long fries here and I decide well I need to make them into fry shapes so anyway I did that you get the idea I made fry shapes I put it on a baking sheet with a sill pad and I shoved it in the oven at 450 degrees I think it was 15 minutes, and then I took them out and turned them and put them in for another 15 minutes. And they did just like the vegan corner said they would. They turned out nice and crispy. Don't they look like fries? Oh, and they were just delicious. No oil or anything. It's just corn grits on a sill pat, and they turned out nice and crispy. And I dipped them in this um, lovely mushroom gravy, and then I ate them with that um, butter lettuce. So there you have it. It was delicious. I hope you uh, get a chance to make, check out both of these YouTube channels and make some recipes off there. Till next time. Bye.